Hey there, happy Friday. Um, Miss Ken has really been enjoying getting all of these videos and texts and emails about all of the wonderful learning that y'all are doing at home. I know a couple of days ago, um, I got a video of Reed. He was reading one of his books and just doing a great job blending. I was so proud of him. Um, I know several students are doing some science experiments and science lessons at home, working through that science book. Um, I know Joseph's mama texted me yesterday and said that this coming weekend, they're going to plant a garden and try to grow some of their own vegetables. And then JD and London, um, his sister London, they planted some sunflowers and basil yesterday. And I know I got a video of Nick. He was doing an experiment with um, seeds. And I think JD and London actually did that same experiment. So I got people that have been working through their science books. So Way to go, boys and girls. I'm so proud of y'all for um, continuing to work on your learning. And parents, thank you so much for taking on this teacher role during this time and really stepping up. Um, and with all this gardening and um, the kids, all these videos I'm getting, that encouraged Miss Can. And so yesterday, I actually got out in the yard too and I planted some new trees. I planted some um, red maple trees and some magnolias, and I planted some new flowers. I planted some, it's a type of blue flower called lithodora, and then some roses, some hot pink roses. So y'all inspired Miss Can. So I am so very proud of you and um, how you're being so responsible with um, this time out of school that we're having. Um, parents, if you haven't heard already, the date for us to come back to school has now been extended to April 30th. So us teachers are actually taking turns next week going to school to get new packets ready. And I believe Dr. Fowler is supposed to be sending out um, a phone blast letting you know when those new packets will be ready. So we'll be distributing those. All right, boys and girls. So this book is one of Emmy's and um, she loves the Llama Llama books. And um, when I was reading to her the other night, I remembered she had this book and I pulled it out. And as I was looking at it, I said, you know what? This is the perfect book for what we're going through right now because not all of us are sick, thank goodness, but all of us are kind of stuck at home and sometimes run out of things to do and might feel like we're going to go kind of crazy at times. So I wanted to read this book to you. I thought it was perfect for right now. This is called Llama Llama Home with Mama by Anna Dugney. And boys and girls, um, these books are known for their rhyming words. And if you remember, rhyming words are words that sound the same at the end. So I want you to really listen for those rhyming words as Miss Ken's reading. Llama Llama Home with Mama. Llama Llama Morning Light. Feeling yucky, just not right. Down to breakfast, tiny sneeze. Sniffle, snuffle, tissues please. Llama's head is feeling hot. Llama's throat is hurting lots. Achy, fever, stuffy head. Llama Llama, back to bed. Time to rest, no school today. Mama Llama brings a tray. Fruity medicine tastes yucky. Llama Llama's throat feels gucky. Look around, not much to do. Trucks are boring, tractors too. Make a tunnel for a train, llama llama, fuzzy brain. Mama llama gets a book. Have a listen, take a look. Heavy eyelids, drippy nose, llama llama starts to doze. What's another word for doze? Sleepy. He's kind of drifting off to sleep. He's so tired. Sometimes when you're feeling sick like he is, you're more tired than usual. Up again and feeling better. Draw some pictures. Make some letters. 
He's having to do his work at home just like y'all. Llama wants a sandwich, please. Mama Llama starts to sneeze. Lunch is over, time for toys. Mama's head does not like noise. Mama makes a big achoo. Llama's out of things to do. Uh-oh, Mama's throat is sore. Being sick is such a bore. Mama coughs and Llama yawns. How long can this day go on? Mama snortles, hacks and wheezes. Llama Llama's sick of sneezes. Soggy tissues, gobs of guck, Sniffing, snorting, sneezing, yuck. So boys and girls, let's think about rhyming words for a minute. It says, soggy tissues, gobs of guck, sniffing, snorting, sneezing, yuck. What are the rhyming words that you hear on this page? Guck and yuck. They both have that uck sound at the end. Llama Llama Red Pajama, sick and bored at home with Mama. Wait, Llama Llama knows what's best. Mama Llama needs a rest. Get more tissues, bring a cup. Fluff a comfy pillow up. What else could Mama Llama need? How about some books to read? Just the thing for Llama Llama. Sick at home. But with his mama. All right, boys and girls. So, you know, Miss Can, after all of these videos, I give you something to think about because remember, it's important that you don't just read a book, but that you think about what you read. You need to think about something before you read it, while you're reading it, and then even after you read it. So, I want you to think about for this book, the sequence of events. Remember, the sequence of events is the order in which things happen in the book. So I want you to talk to someone about what happened first in this story, what happened next, and what happened last in this book, Llama Llama Home with Mama. All right, I'm going to send you some videos next week, but until then, have a great weekend, okay? Stay safe and healthy.